huffed Henry. I'd night and day at the docks. Sometimes Henry and the other engines worked so hard that their axles ache. The top of them had brought in a new engine and helped with heavy workloads. He was long and had ten drive wheels. He was very strong. Gerald Harvey, Craig Thomas, Murdoch said quietly. Soon, Murdoch was coupled to a long line of heavy freight cars. His boiler strained, his wheels started to turn, and the mighty engine chuffed away. Murdoch longed for some peace and quiet, but everywhere he went, it was noisy and crowded. At the end of the day, Murdoch was looking forward to a good night's rest. The Salty and Harvey were full of questions. Please, I want some peace and quiet. I don't want to sh share us. Oh. Huffed Harvey. The next morning, Murdoch collected another long, heavy train. He passed the beautiful countryside. It was splendid. At last, he had some peace and quiet. Suddenly, his driver applied his brakes. There were sheep on the tracks, said the driver. The driver and the fireman tried to chase the sheep back, first this way, then that way. They tried everything, but Murdoch complained the fireman, sighed the driver. Murdoch was very unhappy. The noisy sheep were spoiling his peace and quiet. He exclaimed loudly, We're becoming noisier and noisier, groaned Murdoch. Just then, Toby truffed into view. Before long, the farmer and his dog went to the sheep and pursued safely in their field, and Murdoch was on his way again. That evening, Murdoch parked between and Salty, but Murdoch spoke first. He chaffed, and we're, said Harvey, added Salty. Murdoch smiled. The sound of ba ba would have kept him awake, but he would send him happily to sleep.